when we are working with databases and SQL, it is uh, sometimes nice to have the ability to store some larger queries in our database uh, on our server. Um, and for that purpose, we use um, the views. And the views uh, can be seen as uh, an encapsulation of, uh, of a query. So uh, in web development, for example, in web applications, it uh, may come in very handy that uh, you as a backend developer will expose uh, only a, a, a query with a name instead of uh, having the, uh, the developer to, um, to create all the SQL every time with the possibilities or risks of uh, making typos and, uh, and strange errors. So the views we use uh, in, uh, in SQL to, for example, like in this case, I have my database here and I have my tables and I have my views here. And right now I don't have any views, but I have some tables. So if I make a simple, just an ordinary um, uh, query, that could be that I would like to see uh, the users. So I might select um, user ID and email from user. I'm going to run this. I get my four, um, four users. And this query, um, I could put this in a view if I use that a lot. Or if I just want the, uh, the developer to select um, a short code or shortcut or an alias. So let's have a look at the views, how that works. If I create a new view, I have the possibility to first to, to add which tables I want to use. I could use also views functions. Uh, I can I can I can get some data out of another view, so I can have nested views. But usually we'll just use in this case um, the user table. And as we can see, we have a more visual representation of the uh, of the data or the structure. And uh, as we can see here, we select everything from here. Like before, we select the user ID and the email from the user. And when we run it, we have uh, the data down here. So here it's possible to, uh, to make a more uh, visual uh, representation of how to, how to build the query. So um, if you want to test your query, it is possible to, to just add it here uh, into this area and then see what happens up here. Uh, for example, if you are in doubt of did I make the right join uh, or what I'm filtering on and so on. So if I want to sort on the email, I can say it should be sorted. Um, and then I can run it again. And then I can see now it's sorted or it's ordered by email because I chose that it should be here ordered by email. If I want to have a descending order that goes from U, N, M, J, then I chose descending here. And we see here that it is added DESC. So this is, uh, this is the views. Um, and if we have some more advanced query that we want to to use here in our views, we can uh, just add it here. But in this case, I'll just, now I just uh, would like to save this. So I have my view and this will be user, user lists, for example. So I save it and then here I have my view user list. So if I want to use this view, then instead of selecting everything here, uh, all the tables and all that stuff, I will just write select asterisk or star from dbo dot view user list. And now it's not updated right now. Uh, this list is not updated 
the tables but as soon as I save everything and close down and refresh it will, it will work so now right now I'll just have the same data because they are uh, in my view user list um, if I have another uh, more complex uh, SQL statement that I want to encapsulate and just expose to the developer that okay if you want to have for example a percentage distribution of how the votes are in our poll uh, then uh, then it's uh, possible it's possible to um, to just uh, put that into a view and then give it a, a prop name so I will show here uh, I have from assignment 4 I have this um, this SQL statement which is rather uh, complex um, if you have to remember everything and oh what was it a o or so uh, if I just copy this and then go to my views over here right click and make it a new view and I can just add this one it doesn't matter which tables I add and I'll just here paste in everything I need and then I can see the uh, visual representation of my my uh, tables I use I have my alias A, O and O, Q and down here I have my distribution of my options in percentage so actually it works and I can just save it and I will name it view percent and now I have it here in my list so in order to use it, I'll just make a new query and I will select all from dbo.view. It is not updated the list right now, so I had to save everything and close everything. As we can see here, now it works. I just, instead of typing everything here, I can just type select all from DBO view percentage and of course it is possible to use SQL to make a, a view and we create the view by using the keywords create view and then we give it a name and so on before we create a view I would like to delete a view because then I will create the view user list again. So I'll use the keyword drop view and drop is used for deleting no matter if it's a view, it's a table, it's a database, then drop is the keyword here. So drop view view user list. That's it. That's all we need. And commands completely successfully and when we refresh it here it's gone so now we can create it again create view user list as and then we have the the query that we will use select uh, user id email from user and we execute this oh we need to have the view, create view. I set it, but I didn't do it. So I refresh this one, and then I have my view user list here. And I can try it out, see if it works. Select everything from view user list. Yes, it works. Perhaps I like to modify this, um, this uh, view. And if I need to modify something, and it goes also for the uh, the tables and the database, then I use the keyword alter. So I want to alter view view user list as uh, perhaps I want to have select only the email from user. So instead of um, having the, the column with the user ID, I just need to have the email. So I will execute this and then I'll try to run it again. Select 
everything from view user list. So now I only get the email. So I can I can drop it, I can create it, and I can alter it. Uh, and that is actually what I need. And then of course I can select it. And this is the full read, write, update and delete, or create, read, update, delete, like CRUD we use in application development. So this was about views. Um, and perhaps we would like to, instead of in this long query, um, yeah, there we have it here, instead of using fixed a number in, uh, in our views, and perhaps we need to make more views and we have to have more dynamic or variable, then instead of using uh, a view, then we will use a store procedure where we can uh, receive some parameters. For example, if I want to select everything from this view, but I need to have a uh, question ID number 42, then it should be possible for me to, s to enter a parameter or a variable. So in order to do that, we'll use a store procedure instead of a view. So look in the video about store procedures for uh, some insight into that.